something on the beginning about uh, about the freedom uh, I know you speak a lot about the surrendering to the love and I really deeply understand what's mean to surrender to the wealth in, in yourself uh, but the freedom the freedom itself is it not already the the act of surrendering if you surrender into the life into who you are it's, it's actually the freedom of all that there is of life itself. It's a freedom of life itself, but at the same time, you are within, within that life. That's why I don't actually speak of freedom, because the moment you speak of freedom, then you're also speaking about something that you are free from. Mm -hmm. But when you're in surrender, there's nothing to be free from. It all just is, you know? When you speak about freedom, then on the other hand, you're speaking about suppression or oppression or slavery or any of those things. But in this experience of just surrender, you know, just there is no, there is no possibility of freedom because there's nothing to be free from. There, there is, is no need. Yes. No need. Thank you very much. And it's not just no need. It is that there is nothing that you have to be free from at all. There is no experience of being constricted or being unfree, you know? Because then you are in surrender. I mean, right this moment, if you were to put yourself in a state of surrender, then where does freedom come into that equation at all? You know? I completely understand that for me deeply freedom means I know you don't you don't use this word. Yes. For me freedom is from everything but at the same time it's to be with everything. But if you are with everything then we talking about the life. Yes, life. There's nothing to be free from if you are here. The idea that you have to be free from something is an idea of the ego. The ego is is telling you, you have to be free, therefore do this, 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 this and that and also buy this car and this makeup. Mm. Then you're free. You know, just like the ego is telling you, if you detach from all of this suffering and, and feel that you are the Supreme Soul, I am, then you're free. It's also the ego. So the word freedom is very it's very delicate in the context of self-realization and experience. While what you are saying is that basically you're free because you are, you know? Mm. And that is absolutely so, yes. But after a while, even that idea of freedom falls away, like it falls away in the thinking. I don't speak about idea that mental, mental, mental or the thought that is created within my mind, I'm speaking about the inner freedom that no matter what has happened within the life, yes. or no matter how somebody treats me, how badly that could be or how could it be, I'm completely free from that. The things just flowing, like instead of the, the state of surrendering in the freedom, they also flowing very really spontaneously. When you're in the state of surrender, Arthur, it is flowing. Mm. This word freedom is something that, that actually creates a separativeness in the experience of life. Mm. That is why it is a word which is not used here. I mean, I do use it, it's not that, you know, there's no... no one's going to go to jail for that, but it's just... the moment you talk about freedom, even in the context of what you are saying, mm -hmm. 
the moment you experience freedom, that means you're experiencing freedom from something. The freedom from, from emotion, freedom from knowing, even if it's up here, even if it's in arising good in me, even if the thought is happening, but I, if I'm free from it, I'm not attached to it, I'm not affected by it. But you but are connected thought. with it. If you're free from it, it means you are, you are in a relationship to it still. Know what I'm saying? So should I surrender to the thought? Should I surrender to the emotion? No, it's about surrendering to the soul. Hmm. Let's say I'm saying I'm free from you. That means I'm still in a connection with you because you are part of that equation. Yes, that's a relationship. If there's no freedom involved, then you are you and I am I and there are two beings walking around somewhere. What I'm trying to say with the word freedom, the moment you're trying to be free from something or you are experiencing being free from something, then you are empowering exactly what you're trying to be free from. And in surrender, there is no experience of freedom. There is an experience actually of simply just being an instrument, that's all. Like almost like a... Like, like this a vessel. is... Vessel. Also, Instru yes, but more an instrument actually. Instrument. Yes. It's like, you know, this is just kind of... It's just doing it. Just... It's in surrender and it's just doing what it has to do. Impulsed, 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 impulsed. I need to say that. So that surrendering itself doesn't create the freedom. When surrender is there, freedom is not a word that has a place in that, in that experience. Mm. Because that experience is complete. When you are in surrender to the truth, you're not free from anything. You just are. But you're here and now, you're this, you're here. And you're... Because if you speak about freedom, then you're already speaking about detaching from something. Then you're free of the pain, but you're empowering the pain because you're acknowledging its existence. When you're in surrender, there's no freedom involved because there's no pain in that equation. It's maybe also a matter of, you know, semantics here, but it's always preferable to be as precise as possible. And if you have that experience of freedom, then that's something you're going to have to move through till the experience of freedom disappears. I don't know if the Neo-Advaitins are so happy to hear what I'm saying, but if you want to be free from something, then that means you're still connected with it. If you're calling experience, it's my life more than, more than experience, it's beingness, being here all the time, being present, being now. Yes. And within that now, mm -hmm. within that here, there's no experience, like you said, there is just, just a being, simple beingness and there is a freedom from everything, but at the same time I can be connected with everything. I understand, yes. There's only a freedom from everything because there's no surrender. What are you surrendered to? I am also surrendered to. To, to the beingness, to the silence within me, to the, to the silence, I am completely surrounded. I don't feel any silence within me. No? No, I think we are talking about two different things here. <laughs> For me, the soul is not silent. The soul is very material, very present and very vibrant and impulsing. It's not a silent thing of emptiness and beingness. It is a material presence. I'm speaking about. Mm. Like it's, it's actually a material thing, it's not a, a feeling, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that this whole system is connected with as something separate from the system, not part of the system. Material, it's material, it has its own entity. Alive. Mm -hmm. Alive. 
It is. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm praying for the day when you're not free anymore. <laughs> With your permission, of course. <laughs>